Okay, Oracle virtual box. Create a new virtual machine. The name Okay, on machine folder, you can change the destination for the machine folder. Okay, I will use the default. Type Linux and version Ubuntu 64 bits. Next. Select the amount of memory RAM. You can use uh, 512 megabytes or higher. For example, uh, one gigabyte. That is uh, 1,024 megabytes. Next. Create a virtual hard disk now. Create. The hard disk file type by default BDI. Next, the storage on physical hard disk, a dynamically allocated hard disk file, will only use space on your physical hard disk as it fills up. And a fixed size hard disk file may take longer to create on some systems, but this often faster to use. So I recommend fixed size next. The name of the hard disk, the virtual hard disk. You can modify this. Okay, the size in this case is by default 10 gigabytes. You can use a higher value according your requirements. For me, it's enough 10 gigabytes, or you can use 8 gigabytes or higher. Create Down here, the virtual machine, Ubuntu Server 1904. Select this and go to Settings. Okay. On System, you can modify the, the RAM on processor. You can choose, um, for example, two processors. On display, the video memory is 16 megabytes. That is enough. And storage, this is the virtual hard disk. This is the location for the virtual hard disk. CD DVD is empty. You can insert the image file. Click here and choose a virtual optical disk file. And select the Ubuntu 19.04 server
Okay, ready. Go to network. Use NAT for the first adapter. But in my case, I prefer a Bridget adapter that will be connected to your real network. And choose your interface. In my case, the gigabit interface. On advanced options, be sure the cable is connected. Then go to USB, enable USB 3.0, and OK. Now select the virtual machine and start. Okay, now select your language, okay, English in this case, enter, version 1904.5 of the installer is now available, 1904.4 is currently running, if you choose to update, the update will be downloaded and the installation will continue from here. Okay, I recommend to update to the new installer, the first option, but if you want, continue without updating. Okay, I prefer to update the new installer. Okay, please wait. Okay, very fast, ready. Then select your keyboard. Okay, uh, enter to view the options. Okay, choose your preferred keyboard. Okay, I prefer this. Okay, and finally done. Choose uh, install Ubuntu. Look at this. This is my interface EMP0S3. It's an Ethernet interface and was configured automatically with DHCP and use the IP address 192.168.163 okay finally done if this system requires a proxy to connect to internet enter its details here Otherwise, leave this blank. Okay, this is my case. Done. The mirror address, use the default value. Done. This is the file system setup. You can use the entire disk. Okay. Use an entire disk and set up the logical volume management if you want. But in this case, I will choose manual. I prefer this. Up here, this is my virtual hard disk with 10 gigabytes of sides. Or if you want to create a volume group, logical volume management. Okay. I will enter to my virtual hard disk up here, enter, and add a partition, okay, add partition, 
and choose the size for the first partition I will choose the this partition for swap okay and the size will be um, one gigabyte okay one gigabyte and create okay up here the partition is ready one gigabyte type swap um, go again to virtual hard disk press enter and add another partition do not set the the size because I will use all the size and the format ext4 and the mount is the root this the slash then create and now you have two partitions the root and the swap down here you can see the all the partitions partition partition one for for grab one megabyte partition two for swap one gigabyte partition three the root about uh, nine gigabytes finally done okay are you sure continue now enter your your full name and the server's name pick a username the first letter of my first name and my last name But you can use any username. Choose a password. And finally done. You can choose to install OpenSSH server package to enable secure remote access to your server. You can press space uh, to select this and install OpenSSH server but in this case I prefer uh, not install OpenSSH server because it's very easy to install later okay done okay and select the server environments that you want using the space key but I prefer to continue without select an option and down okay finish it install um, step 12 of 14 but you can reboot now here press enter okay username password okay success Okay, press enter um, verify your configuration IP address okay 
Mm, interface number two, EMP COS3. IP address 192.168.163 on IPv4. Okay, um, test the ping to google.com, for example, to verify internet connection uh, is ready. Okay, thank you very much.